Today most drones carry GoPros, but tomorrow drones could be carrying people. Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and today I'm giving you a first look at what's in my opinion the very coolest product to come out of CES 2016. So the Ehang 184 definitely isn't a typical drone. For one thing, it's huge in comparison to most drones we see getting stuck in neighborhood trees. This would actually tear straight through one. But this drone is as big as it is because it can carry a payload of one human being. So that's right, this is the next big thing in drones. The Ehang 184 is the world's first passenger-ready drone or PFV, and of course it is still a drone so it'll naturally fly itself. The Ehang 184 is equipped with a total of 8 rotors pushing 142 horsepower, and the 8 rotors are grouped by 2 at the 4 corners of the passenger drone, lifting it up to as high as 11,000 feet while cruising at 62 miles an hour. On its website, Ehang points out that this drone can still fly if one of its propellers malfunctions, and even though that is a bit of a scary situation, Ehang says its failsafe system is redundant enough to ensure that the 184 will still be able to land in the nearest safe area. In fact, Ehang's CEO says he began designing the passenger drone after his two pilot friends were killed in plane crashes. He wanted to create a safer mode of transportation for low altitude flights to get people from one place to another, even if those very people didn't have pilot's licenses. Convenience is obviously the big selling point of the Ehang 184 since all you have to do is slide into the drone, turn it on, tap your destination on the 12 inch tablet display, and then take off. But unfortunately, as the expression goes, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Right now, the Ehang 184 would actually be illegal to operate in the US since it hasn't been tested or approved by the FAA. There's nothing quite like this drone, and the Chinese company will have a bunch of hurdles to overcome before it can finally become airworthy in American skies. They'll have to answer questions like how it will communicate with other aircraft in the sky, and also whether a remote pilot could take over should the user inside the drone have an emergency. Also, the other big issue is whether the Ehang 184 is actually worth its price of between $200,000 and $300,000, which is definitely pretty high. You only do get 23 minutes of flight time out of this thing before needing a charge, so you probably won't get as far as you'd expect travelling through the air. With that said though, if you do get a chance to try out the Ehang 184 for yourself, you'll find that it has a couple really cool features inside and outside. The cabin is air conditioned and it's even decked out with a reading light, and on the outside the passenger drone is flashing airline signal lights, a headlight, and of course a downward facing camera to see what's going on below it. There's also a small trunk in the back that is enough space for just about a 16 inch backpack, so that could be convenient if you're using this to get from place to place. Anyways though, I have to confess that I do like the look of the Ehang 184 a lot, I think this could be a really cool Cool method of transportation, and obviously Ehang does have some more issues to work out, but if this actually ever did come to the US, I'd love to see more of these types of drones in action. But anyways, let me know if you'd want to take a ride in the Ehang 184 in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're excited about the potential of these type of drones, and I will see you next time.